Hello everybody, this is Rusty from Possum Bayou Channel. I'm going to just give a little quick tour of a, a Louisville and Nashville station here in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Not a whole lot of detailed information, just a quick look. Just, just look at it and just look at all the different things. And So if there may be something around where you live, anything like that, you can actually scratch build something like this or make a model of it. It's right there, you can take your measurements right off of it. So on with the video. Hey, we're at old L&N Railroad Station in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Just a walk through. Got a little bit of something to look at. Old wood siding and the everything. It's very similar to a lot of the L&N stations around here. Old green and white. And, uh, back in the day, they used to make some, they were not only functional, but kind of pretty. Well, I put a little design factor in it. So you got an old light, but it's probably not that old. Got a CFL light bulb in it, but that, that light fix has been here a long time. Hey, you got another small conduit there. Hey, what is that thing? You don't see those every day. Man, I don't even know if it works. Yeah, old loudspeaker. I'm sure that's not original, but it's here. Different fittings on how these things come together. I imagine when this thing was new, it was mostly wood out here in the front so this nice break has been done later I need a little painting on it, a little bit of maintenance it's like how they got these brace in here Probably wouldn't be something too hard to scratch build since it's right here and you can take measurements right off of it. At least for me anyway. It does have a crawl space, you can see under there. Like typical for buildings back then. You can kind of see in there a little bit. Just what they've kind of got in there for now. Amtrak doesn't run through here anymore, but it's still there. They may bring it back, who knows. Some more of the bracing, a little bit more of the overhang. Looks like the main door's going in. That's a quick look. Baggage cart. Those steel wheels. I'm just thinking that maybe some sort of original light fixture with two wires coming on each side of it. Maybe wrong, but that's what it looks like. Very old light fixture. Looks like you got the ticket window over there, maybe. Come in here and go over there, you got the ticket office in there. See, you can see the real nice 
where it'll work on the little shelf at the ticket window. Definitely would need some work, but I need to kind of come and look at it anyway. See, I see more of those bracings. You got this metal sign holder. That's probably something fairly new. It's not as old as the station, but it's been there a while. Just look at the the, the different clambered style style of siding and all on this thing. It looks like coming with the same old doors. I'm sure them. Train doors there has been replaced a time or two. Both double doors here. modern air conditioning over here on this end of the place. I'm sure they didn't have that back 100 years ago when they put it here. Going around. Pretty good. If the street comes right up against it, probably back in the day this probably was all, probably wasn't paved or something. Some of these buildings probably weren't here either. A little bit more room. Probably the first cars that were up parked out of the back of this thing would have been Model T's or something. Looks like I got a baggage door of some sort. Not a door for people to come in. That would look like a door you load stuff that you for express mail or whatever. I was say probably had steps back here in the day. Got some of these other doors. Give you an idea. Just a little look at it. That's all I'm doing. By looking at the shape of that. It's an old railway express agency sign. Probably was there. Just guessing. Maybe wrong. That's kind of about what it looks like it might would have been. Wait, Tracy, come from over there. Awful lot of stuff there for it to not be no more than it is. More double doors, huh? They probably at one time had steps going in there. Let's look at the different siding, different styles of wood that was used. It's just a quick look, nothing serious. back to where I started. This stuff's kind of, this wood here's kind of dried up here. Anyway, I'm sure there was a siding. They probably come around here closer to the station back in the day so they didn't have to block the main line. The building over there has some Definitely had some sidings going to it. They've been removed. I'm not real sure when they was. It's not been too long. I can still kind of remember them being there. There's the other part of town over there. Looking east. 
Man, looking west. Here's when the train is whenever that siren on that bridge sounds as it's going to go down, and there's usually a train going to be coming, usually. Yeah, that was a quick look at everything. Not too much. Um, I just want to do a little quick video, get out and do something. I spent the first a good part of the week in the hospital. I'm out. I'm okay now. Just figured, yeah, I'd just do a little some, a little something, get out, get a little sunshine, do a little something enjoyable. So I came down here to look at the the, the railroad station. Just thought I'd share just a real quick look around. Nothing, nothing in a detailed detailed history on it. In this video so I might do another one if everybody thinks in the comments to send me if I should or not so if you like what you're seeing on my channel here just subscribe and hit the like button and how you can share this with your friends or on other forums if you if you wish see you later